All right, good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today, we're not at Green Pastures Farm. As you can tell, we're in a little uh, more uh, arid environment. We're in uh, Arizona. Anyway, we're doing a project here. We're putting in the water line. I wanted to show you a close-up exactly how we're doing this. So, Ricardo's actually putting the Teflon tape on the uh, quick coupler. So, this is actually what will be having the water come up to the livestock tank. So, he's running around there too. There you go. So he's got two diameters of a tape around there. And now he's going to screw it into this fitting here. And this is a T. So that's a female. That's a female threaded T. You got to get it started straight. There you go. You can feel it when it goes right. There you go. Got it. Good job. So now Ricardo's going to screw that all the way in. Keep going all the way until you can't screw it anymore. It'll bottom out there in a minute. Okay, so now that Teflon, what that did is it sealed those high density polyethylene threads. And you got it. That's perfect right there. Okay. And so this cap right here, when you pop it open, there's the area that you plug your uh, your mail into. So there's the mail, it just, my fingers, the mail, it depresses a spring in there. It works like an air hose. The minute you push that down, water comes out. You pull it out, the water stops running into the tank. So now on this, let's, let's open those big old uh, threads off of there. And you want to get the pliers. There you go. So as Ricardo screws this on, so we're running an inch and a half high density polyethylene. As Ricardo screws those on, that big cap he's got there in his hand, you see these, uh, there's some little wedges in here. They're actually quite sharp. And those go all the way around that whole circle. So as he tightens this down, it cuts these threads into your high density polyethylene. It can't come out. And there's a stop gap in here. So the, the pipe can't go in any deeper than this stop right here. And then this tightens down on the thread. Actually, it goes all the way into here. I'm sorry. That's, that's quite an outfit. They aren't cheap, but I tell people, if you're gonna bury it in the ground, don't use cheap parts. Use good parts. Um, you can get these fittings from a PowerFlex fence company. That's what we use. You can go ahead and put those back on, Ricardo. We're gonna actually go up here to the pipe and we'll show people how we do that. All right. And, uh, Robert, yeah, you've got the... Um, so, yeah, Grant, go ahead and show them how that works. So, there's the mail. force yeah so there's a there's a spring on there and where my thumb is and I push in on that there it came up so when you undo this mail right where my fingers are you don't want to be throwing these around on the ground and dragging them if you put a scratch in this section right there where my thumbs at from that clip down to here, if you put a scratch anywhere in there, you've ruined this. Because that scratch will let water follow that scratch all the way out. Now you've got a leak. So when you unplug these, don't just throw them in the back of the pickup or drag them through the rocks. Take care of them. This male will cost you $4.95. The, the female that Ricardo has there in his hands is $14.50. So go ahead and just click that in real quick. Okay, and here's where your water hose goes. So this will actually go to your livestock tank. This is what feeds the animals. So you can go ahead and take that out now. The beautiful thing about this, you know, out here in Arizona, you've got scorpions, rattlesnakes. I don't know, you've got all kinds of nasties out here. Yep. Centipedes. You can put that lid back on. There's not a little customer waiting on you <laughs> when you stick your hand down in there. Yep. Um, so how are we putting these on? I'll show you. We've got a uh, little riser here that we made. You want to just set that down on the ground, Ricardo? We'll just do a, a demonstration. So there, he's, he's got the riser. There you go. And so we cut mouse holes. This one uh, we need to take up and cut just a little bit wider. We knew that. There you go. You got it. Perfect. So that lets that hose come out each end, or the pipe. And this little riser... 
you can put a cap on here and that protects your riser from the animals snapping it off. In the winter time, it gives you a little freeze protection down in here because this will all be underneath dirt right here. From my hand down to here, this is all down in the trench. And then we'll have a PVC cap on here to keep the snakes and whatever else wants mm -hmm. to crawl down in there. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of snakes. Oh. Black so, widows. Black widows. Oh. You got those out here too? Oh, oh, yeah. Tons, of, oh, Tons yeah. of black widows? Yep. yep. Oh my gosh. Brown recluse. Brown recluse? Yep. You just got about everything out here. Okay, he stopped trenching for a minute, guys. Let's go up here and get this pipe. And, yeah, you, you can just leave that there. I just wanted to show the, the folks how this pipe, we don't have it in the trench because he's not all the way done quite yet. But Ricardo's going to slide that off on there. And Grant... When we get done, it looks like you got a little trimming you could do right there. Matter of fact, why don't you trim that? Folks, when you slide that up on there, you don't want all that debris on there. So he's going to take a pocket knife and trim that off of there, get all that gunk off. And you got to look at the ends of these pipes, folks. They're not cut off square. If they're not, take your pocket knife and square them up. Um, we're on a desert here. This pipe is really hot, and so it's cutting really well. If you're up in Alaska... You probably want to use a hacksaw. <laughs> now the shavings, will that get clogged up anymore? No. No, it's going to blast out. We've got such a big pipe. Uh, Ricardo's asking about the shavings. If you had a bunch of them and you had a really small pipe, a half inch diameter, that could be an issue. You could clog those up. Okay, that's good. No, you can finish it in a minute. Let's go ahead and put this on here. So Ricardo's going to slide this. So you're going to put the, this big guy on first. There you go. The nut goes on, and that goes all the way down till it won't go any further. And now you can tighten that nut up. You want to go ahead and yeah, do it? Yeah, you can just tighten up hand tight. Okay. All right, and then the last thing we do is these big guys, these are uh, plumber pliers. You take the plumber pliers, hold on to those, Grant, and you just take this and give it about another three quarters of a turn, and it'll butt right up against this sleeve right here. When you tighten this up, that's what clamps those uh, polyethylene shims into the pipe. It can't come out. So that's that's about the gist of it. So the other end will go in here. Uh, we're running um, 8,000 feet of this on this grazing project. And we're at about uh, 2,000. 2,000, almost out on the dot. 2,000 feet. So we've got another trencher coming on here. Micah, <laughs> are you ready to take over for your brother? Maybe. <laughs> you take off with the keys? No, I just lost my Uh oh. He, uh, this trenching in, uh, we're down by, uh, we're about two hours from Tucson. So it's, it's just hot weather down here. Um, we don't have to worry about, you know, 10 below zero. Um, most of this trenching's around a foot, a foot deep. I was more concerned about the summer heat. Uh, than I was the uh, you know, winter. I think they said they hardly ever freeze down here, and if it does, it, it's just not much of a freeze. So we got it down deep enough to escape the uh, summer, the summer heat, and this will all be backfilled. And of course, you get a little bit of sod growing on it; that'll help too. But uh, the fence on this farm is going to be falling. This will be covering that more to the fencing part of it. But I just wanted to cover the water, how we're doing it, and. Uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to have water points every 500 feet. And that's because these pipes, we bought 500 foot lengths. And so at every 500 feet, we put a riser. We put one of these and we hook on the next 500 feet. We go to the next riser. So it's pretty simple, the water portion of it. The hardest part has been the trenching. They thought they might get 300 feet uh, an hour. And it's more like uh, about 150 feet an hour. I mean, it is some hard, hard ground out here. I just can't believe how hard it is. But, you know, it's been 100 degrees all summer. And uh, we're about an hour from the Mexico border. So it's they've had an extremely dry summer. Um, I think they said this is the third year in a row they've had below normal rainfall. And so you don't get moisture, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt you. 
But uh, with that, I think I'm going to sign up on sign off on the water part, and we'll be covering the fencing and going over the, uh, the history of this project and kind of what we're going to be doing. Anyway, everyone have a good one, and we'll see you all. Hit that subscribe button all the way out. And uh, this is Greg from uh, down south of Tucson, and we'll see you all down the road.